People and please be uh, conscious about your mics and all these things since we are doing an online session. All right. So one student who is trying to log in. Anyway, like uh, since the recording is there, let's uh, allow them to uh, have the conversation or have the session from here. Right, so uh, it's the file sharing, right? So uh, in the file sharing, it is one of the facilities which is given by the uh, internet again, right? One of the services, right? So file sharing means we can uh, store a particular file in a one particular place and we can share it among a lot of people all right so the very best example is the google drive all right so if you uh, take the google drive right now if i uh, visit to my particular google drive Ta -da! that's nice so, so. the purple hair can you see the purple hair mm -hmm. Sticking out. Wow. So this is her whole purple hair underneath that strawberry blacky whitey hair. So okay. she's pretty, isn't she? She is pretty, Susan. She is pretty. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> That's nice, Susan. Since that is doing a class, can you please? Uh, oh, easy. Put some there. That. Um. I'll put some shield on there. Okay. okay. All right. So. You to show acceptance. All right. So, since we have this. When we are in the Google Drive, I can create a particular file, right? So let's say I'm going to uh, start a Google document, right? And I can uh, give a particular Google, uh, the particular name for this, right? So let's say uh, test grade 11, English likewise. Right, so um, now if I move to my Google Drive, you can see this document is available over here, right? So this document can be shared among many people. So this document is just in my particular Google Drive and I can share it by right clicking and taking the share option, right? And uh, right, there are many different uh, contacts in my uh, student list. So I can uh, share it with uh, different amount of people, right? So once I share this thing, the people who have given the authority will have the chance of using this particular document right they can refer i can share it in many different ways i can share it just to reference the or else i can share it uh, for editing and those kind of uh, things right so if i share this thing uh, uh, with the reference like like uh, uh, with the privileges so that is doing a class okay go, go there and do it Right, so if I share the document with the editing authority, editing privileges, that people, those people can edit this document at the same time when I'm working with this. Uh, if someone uh, is just getting the uh, Vivin uh, authority or like with Vivin privileges, they can only view this thing, right? They won't be able to edit anything over here. So this is kind of a file sharing, right? So the file is just one particular place. And the access is given for many uh, different number of people, right? So they can 
access and use the resource. It is not only the Google Drive, many particular uh, drive services like Dropbox and all these things will uh, help you to have this facility, as well as uh, other internet services or like the uh, sometimes some other services, some, some other servers will also help you to share these kind of files among number of people, right? So that's another uh, part of a service which is given by the internet. And the other part is the stream, is streaming facility or like streaming service. Right, so like when it comes to the streaming, it can be an audio streaming, it can be a video streaming. Like if you visit to the uh, YouTube, some particular singer is announcing or like uh, introducing his new song. Uh, he can introduce as a audio streaming and a video streaming. Right, so it doesn't matter which kind of a media that we are going to stream. So the things are going to happen like this. Right, so as the picture shows to you, Right, this, this particular uh, user is requesting the particular website, right, which is, uh, which you like to see over here. It's a blue pen that I have. Oh, I don't know. I think it's with your toy, Susie. I have to find it. Right, so once it is requested from the web, that web server send a message to the streaming media server. There is a particular another separate computer called streaming media server, which is responsible of streaming the media, right? So once the media server receives the request, media server will directly connect with the uh, person who was requesting this and will communicate the data straight away. It will not uh, communicate things through the web server again. Right, so that is what is uh, happening generally. Right, and the uh, other very useful facility is what you call search engines. Right, search engines, again, it is a website which has the cap capability or capacity of searching the things in the internet and uh, showing the things uh, what they have been found. Right, so when you do not know exactly to which particular uh, place or which particular website that you need to visit, you can use a search engine. So you can give a search key and it will bring you all the details regarding that search key. Right, so as an example, if I go to the Google, Google is one of the search engines. If I type dog, it will find me the videos, the audios, the map related uh, workings, right? And uh, yes, someone has given a raised hand. Uh, but they are, I can't see your name or the uh, number. Can you please rename it? Kauruhari dot satrak tilatino me Nama Right, and Namodi, please uh, uh, have your admission number, the card number in front of your name. And still, I can see some people who do not have the card number in front of their name. Dilbi Netsarani, Dinuka. Uh, there are two Dilbi Netsaranis. And Nimesh. Three of, three of you, Dilmi, Nimesh, and still Dinuka. Can you all rename your name with a proper index number? Oh. Suha. At this doing a class here, yeah. I'm getting disturbed. So, Hara, I am getting disturbed, Manika. Go to, go to that place. Sit down and watch, please.
right? So like I told you, my search key is dog. So regarding the dog, whatever the resource which has the word dog in internet, they will find it and send it to me. So there are videos and uh, see dog, dog facts and photos in National Geographic Channel, Wikipedia and map regarding the word, word dog. Right, so it's a, it's a very uh, uh, nice and very useful service that we are getting because we can't remember all the things in the internet, right? So uh, we have to, uh, like, we should have, we have to do a search, right? So then uh, we will be able to manage that thing, right? So that's how these search engines are going on. So remember, if you uh, know how to search very well, so it will be very easier for you to find the results uh, during the uh, searching session, right? Okay, so uh, at the bottom, they, are, like, they were mentioned about uh, different types of uh, search engines uh, that we have. Right, so uh, google.com, yahoo.com, ask.com, msn for messenger, right.com, likewise. There are many. And the final thing that they were talking about this domain name server. We know what is done by the domain name server already, right? The domain name system server. All right, domain name server is there to convert a URL, uniform resource locator, or like a domain name into an IP address, right? So that is why DNS is there. Okay, so before we move to the uh, communication part, let's write some of these things. And before we move, any uh, questions regarding this? Okay, so let's go with file sharing. So have the heading. So under this, yeah. So there, uh, if you cannot uh, manage your mic, I have to uh, remove the noisy mics from the meeting, right? So please be cautious about what you are doing. Right, so for file sharing. Yeah, nothing much to write. You may write this and the example.
Let me know when you're done, people. Uh, Manuga class will be in that uh, 445, right? We uh, started around, not actually 445, 415, I'm sorry. It's a half an hour session, one and a half hour session. Right, so since we started at 345, it's, it will be in that 415. And uh, still there are people who haven't uh, put the uh, admission number with your name. Take the admission number to be first. There's, there's, uh, yes, there's someone called Creative Kavya. I don't know, right? It's better you come up with your uh, normal name, people, not by your nickname, right? So uh, please rename the number of the uh, institute and your name. If you don't have a number, just let me know, right? Kavisha, it's better you uh, have your admission number at the beginning. Right. Anyone who is still writing? Okay, moving forward. Streaming of media. And people, please uh, leave your leave space to uh, draw this diagram. Right, because the diagram explains everything. So uh, have enough space. You have to write all the things in the diagram. So which defines how the media streaming happens. Right, so you don't need any additional writing for that. Just the uh, picture with this explanation. We'll give you a clear picture about uh, how that is going on. Right, it's in the page number 72. So under the uh, media, streaming of media, it's better you uh, draw this diagram. And next, submarine search engine. All right, so regarding the search engines, uh, Hansaka, it seems to be that they are going to start the schools at 21st, not by next Monday. All right, so regarding search engines, uh, let's write these things. Yeah, copy this. Yeah. 
yeah so with that you can give the example And let me know when you are done. Okay, one is done. How about others? Anyone who is still writing? Okay, I'm moving forward. If anyone is writing, please raise your hand so I can uh, have the idea. All right, so moving forward. Domain name server.
So these two lines can be copied regarding the domain names. All right, are we done, people? You want to go outside? Right, are we done, people? No, Hansaka, it's the other way around. 
like uh, the domain name server or like the actually it should be domain name system server it, it is converting the domain names into the ip addresses not the other way around right it can only when, when a domain name is there it can convert that into the ip address and send it to the uh, the requested party in our case the browser but uh, if it is given a domain name if it is given an ip address it won't be able to uh, convert into a domain name like because it, it does not configure that like that right like they are having both the uh, details but uh, uh, it's going to uh, have on that manner right People, give me a second. Right, so next part is about the usage of the internet. Right, so the first thing that they are talking about is the electronic mail or in simple terms, emails. Right, so they are talking about how the emails are happening or like uh, when we are sending an email, how it really happens, right? So as you can see, the picture describing how the things are going on, right? So. You have a particular personal computer, like uh, if you think about this is your personal computer. If you are sending an email, it first it is going to reach to your mail server. 
right? So in case if you got a Gmail, so this is the Gmail server. Right, so this is going to be the Gmail server. So if you are having an email account, if you are sending it, first it will reach in your mail server. Right, so all the Gmail accounts will be inside this. So if I'm having a Gmail account, it will be inside this. If you are having a Gmail account, again, it is there inside this particular mail server. Since we have given a username and a password, so once we provide that, you, we can provide that username and password to open our particular email space inside this mail server, right? So when I'm sending an email, first it will be sent to my server and if I'm sending it to the, uh, like, 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 like the same server or like the person who is using the same server, it will be directed directly from the server to the receiver, right? So if the receiving computer is over here, it is, it is something like this. I am using a Gmail account and this person is also using a Gmail account. So my mail is moving over here. Then that will be moved to the particular receiver's end. Right? So just one email server is involved. Right? Now, if you are there to send a mail to a different mail server, like the person who is having a Gmail account will send an email to a person who is having a Yahoo account or Ymail account. So that means there are two different types of uh, servers being involved, right? So in that case, this is your computer and this is your mail server, right? So let's assume your mail server is Gmail, right? Then you are sending it to a, let's say Ymail address or a Yahoo address, right? So. some particular, some another, if some different server. So your email will be sent by your computer and send it to the Gmail server. And through the internet, cloud is much better for the internet. This is internet. Through the internet, it will receive on the other mail server. That means the Yahoo server. And then from the Yahoo server, the particular receiver is going to receive. So in this case, I am having Gmail account. This person is having a Yahoo account. So two different email service providers. So those providers will have different types of mail servers. So the message should reach from one server to another. Then it will direct to the particular receiver. People, is that clear? Yes, everyone, is that clear? All right. And when we need a particular email address, we can create a particular email address from the email service providers like uh, oh, gmail.com, yahoo.com. There are many. Uh, as well as like uh, you can have an email address regarding a particular web like regarding a particular website as well, 
and that email will only serve that particular website only you won't be able to send it to send your emails here and there through that but that kind of an email address but still if the outsiders are need to contact the website then they can use that particular email right so generally an email is having two parts which is separated from an at symbol right the first part is called the username right and the second part is called the domain name right ranitu okay so you can refer the uh, recording wait until you get automatically disconnected if there is a power failure so later you can uh, refer the uh, recordings right so as i told you an email address consists of two parts username and the domain name right so those are separated from an at symbol right so as well as you need to know like uh, to communicate through the email use sender must have an email address as well as the receiver must have an email address otherwise they can't uh, communicate like right? uh, the email uh, communication will not be fulfilled if only one party is having an email address and uh, very basically when you are like uh, login in or like signing into your account you are you need to provide a username and a password so then only you will be able to log into the mail server and has the ability of searching the mails that you have received right so um, yeah that's the story about the email and here they are talking about a very simple thing about sending an email but uh, uh, you have you are introduced with three types of senders i'm sorry three types of receivers right so uh, in the inside a uh, email account when you are sending a particular email if you send it to a person or like if you if you uh, type a particular email address under the to section this indicates who is the main receiver right that means the major person or like the uh, indented person uh, whom this mail is going to receive and cc section it is indicated as carbon copy section so carbon copy section you can uh, put a particular name under the carbon copy so it will give you the receiver the idea that this particular email has been copied for these particular people right so let's say uh, in a school headmaster need to or like the principal need to send a particular uh, message to a particular teacher so he will uh, carbon copy that to assistant principal uh, to sectional head to grade head as well so teacher will receive the email as well as teacher can see uh, there are uh, some cc's or like the carbon copies that means copies have sent to the these particular people so it, since it is been indicated in the cc section so that doesn't mean when you are sending a email you can't type a one particular like more than one particular email address over here you can type as much as you want in the to section right but generally what we are doing is the major recipients okay ranitu so the major recipients will be mentioned in these two section and uh, the non major non major means like uh, like when we are like uh, talking about the uh, general posting method we say like uh, for the major recipient we will send the original copy of the uh, letter 
and for the people who need to be informed, we'll be sent a copy of this right now. When I'm receiving my appointment letter as a teacher, I receive it at my home as the original letter. Under that original letter, they have mentioned, okay, the copy of this letter, this letter has been sent to the principal of the school that you are going to visit and to the Sonal Education Center as well as their educational ministry. So likewise, those are the copied places. So same is served by this, right? So this sashikala7 at uh, gmail.com is the one who really need to be addressed with this uh, email. And uh, BPD, uh, sorry, uh, DP Dasun. DP Dasun is the one who has been informed that the Sashikala uh, has received or has sent an email to Sashikala. So you get informed that this email has sent to this particular person, right? So that is why CC is there, right? So the major recipient will be there at the section two and the other recipients who are going to receive the carbon copies will be at the section CC. Now, BCC, the blind carbon copy, is a special uh, thing. So, if you put a BCC uh, on, on, on this particular uh, email, if you, if you put a particular email address on BCC section, uh, in, in this example, Monali will receive this email, and Monali can see this email has sent to the uh, Sashikala as well as DP Dasun, but neither Sashikala nor DP Dasun will see that this is being sent to the Monali because it is not visible to them. That's why it is called blind carbon copy, right? So that kind of a, a thing can be done. Uh, okay. Ranitu? Uh, all right. Yes, okay, Ranitu, so I'll go through it. Thank you for the information, right? Okay, so now look at this. In here, that is what they have mentioned. Receiver's email or the main receiver email will be uh, type in the two section. The primary address to all recipients can see this. And the CC, the one who should receive the copies of an email will be typed under the CC. Secondary addresses, all recipients can see the list. And the uh, one who need to uh, receive the email, but not being informed to the others, that should be written inside the BCCs. All right. Okay, as well as when it comes to the email, there are certain things that you uh, need to know, and I think you know this thing already, but I will show it to you. Uh, inside an email account, I am referring to the uh, Gmail uh, account over here. So in, in most of the other email accounts has the same thing, right? So, uh, you have something called inbox. Right, you have something called inbox and inbox will receive all the message uh, which is received at your email. So as you can see, these are the uh, uh, emails that I have received, it is in my inbox. It says 30, 30 means like there are 30 unread uh, messages. 
and in 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 according to the email service that you are using these start snooze those kind of uh, facilities will be there might might be there or might not be there but definitely there is something called sent so sent mails are there to indicate or to find what are the mails that you have sent to the uh, people right as well as there is something called draft draft will save the emails which you have not sent but you have composed already that means i can compose a mail using this compose button once i click on this i will be getting this kind of a uh, email composing window so here from two i can give some particular uh, email address that i'm going to uh, search right so it's Right, so for the moment, let's say I'm giving a, just an assuming one. Right, so as you can see, there is CC and BC over here. So once you CC it, you will be given a CC section. So if I type XYZ at gmail.com, PQR at gmail.com, as well as I can do the blind carbon copy. Right. PEF at yahoo.com. So, likewise, I can do it. So, this is the place where you can type all your email addresses of the receiver. So, you can abc at gmail.com will see this email that I'm sending has been sent to the XYZ at gmail.com as well as pqr.gmail.com but uh, none of these people not the abc not the xyz neither the pqr will see that this is being sent to the def at yahoo.com because it is a blind carbon copy or like the he's a he's a, a secret receiver right and you can type the subject subject is not a mandatory uh, field that you need to write but uh, if you are going to send an email message without a subject your email service provider will give you a message. You are going to send a message without a subject. And he will ask whether it is okay or not. So in that case, you have to give, provide okay or cancel or okay or no. Then uh, according to the uh, response, they will send the message without a subject or they will allow you to type a subject, right? So generally, when we are sending an email, we just type a subject. So we can say regarding a parent's meeting. Right, and uh, then I can type the uh, my type my message over here. Right, then what I can do is I can generally send this. Yeah, Hansaka, I'll tell you the difference between CC and BCC Hansaka. Uh, if you CC it, carbon copy it this XYZ and the PQR, people will see that this is sent to the abc at gmail.com. He was the main, main person who is receiving this email. As well as abc at gmail.com also will see his copy of his email has sent to the XYZ as well as PQR. But none of them will see that this has been sent to the DEF at yahoo.com because blind carbon copy is like uh, what hidden from the other recipients. But DEF at yahoo.com can see ABC, XYZ, and PQR. All three are receiving this email. Got it, Hansaka? Right. Now, as well as according to the uh, according to your email service provider, they will give you the chance of uh, managing the uh, word processing part here in the Gmail account. There are undo redo buttons are there. Uh, some uh, particular fonts are there to be chosen, and uh, there are 
font increase in and decrease in size of the fonts. Bold, italic, underline uh, uh, facility also there. And you can choose a text color and a background color. Right, so if I choose Right, so now they are in uh, right. So likewise, you can change it, and some uh, alignment are there: left alignment, center alignment, and the right alignment. Bullets and numbering are there, as well as some particular other things: indentation, uh, bullet points, right, uh, quotes strike through as well as the uh, you can take out all the formattings right so it will take out all the formattings right so that is how the uh, email composing part happens as well as over here, you can see the file attachments can be there, right? If you click on this, one of your windows will be open and you can see the things in your computer. So you can attach any particular thing. It can be a particular picture or it can be a particular document, right? So likewise, you can uh, attach the things into your email, right? And as well as you can see the one that I am uh, editing, I'm inside the drafts. Now there are a draft is happening regarding my editings, right? Now, that is why the draft is there. Now, in case if I close this, even by mistake or by indentity, it will be there inside my draft folder. So I can click and take that particular email again. Right, and uh, do the changes and send it. Right, or even I can delete this if I, if you don't, if, you, if I really don't want, I can discard it. Right, so those are the things what you need to know about the email and there is something called this spam and junk. I'll show you that as well. So spam emails, spam emails are uh, considered as the unwanted emails, uh, which or like the suspicious emails that you are receiving in your inbox. So like when, when an email is suspicious, they are not going to send it to your inbox Instead of that, they are sending it to the spam folder. So sending it to the spam alerts us something suspicious has received in your inbox. So if you really know the sender, then you go and open the email. Otherwise, do not, but delete, right? So because it can be a malware as well at the same time. So if you really don't know, who has sent this email to you, that is the email that is in the uh, spam bucket, then just uh, throw it away, delete it away, right? And the trash is there to, uh, it's, it's working like a recycle bin of the windows, right? When we delete an email, like uh, if I go to the inbox and let's say I'm going to delete this, I select it and I select delete. So once I delete it, it says see conversion move to the trash. I can undo. If I undo, it will be uh, uh, taken over here. Daddy, give me some medicine. And if I if if I move to the uh, Hello, I'm your medicine later. trash. See now I got a particular mail in the trash since I have deleted it. 
So it will be now here in the Gmail, it says message that I have been in trash more than 30 days will be automatically deleted. That means permanent deletions will happen. So this particular email will be there for 30 days from today onwards. Then it will be permanently deleted. Now, if I want to restore this, I can select it. Either I can delete it forever or I can move to a inbox. So it won't, you cannot, you won't be able to find it here now. It will be there in the inbox. Again, see, this one is there. So that is how the trash and the uh, spam is working. All right, is that clear everyone? Okay, that's great. Okay, let's write about these people. So have the subheading. Um, using internet for communication will not be needed. You can have the subheading called electronic mail. So you can indicate this as well. <laughs> so have the uh, heading electronic mail. Yeah, people, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, it's better you copy the first line, then copy the second. <laughs> Can we move forward? All right. Right, and then you can say this particular sentence, and then you have to draw this diagram as well.
Okay, are we done, people? Yes, people, are we done? Okay, move forward. Let's copy things from here as well. Copy this part. Yeah, that is enough. Okay, are we done, people? Okay, moving forward. Yeah, so have the head in. Send an email.
and people at home you need to draw this part right so just draw that part and uh, come with meet meet me with the next session so i will uh, name what will happen with these recipients right so have some space to write what is going on with these recipients right so draw this and let's uh, once you have done with this let's name and uh, say what need to be done with, with these recipients when the email is sent it right okay so i'll end the session for today from here for the moment right so have this diagram and next session when we are starting the next session we will be starting from this particular point right and let's hope we can meet in the physical class since it seems to be uh, the problems in sri lanka are like yet to be uh, solved so let's hope and pray to have something good in sri lanka right so have a nice day and i have a very good night people so i'm going to end the session from here just for today right so thank you very much everyone i'll see you on next week most probably in the class right okay thank you very much everyone thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir